Hey, check this out. I'm going to talk to you about uh, how I use uh, the circle command uh, when I'm designing uh, a site, and in particular, designing a parking lot. Now, if I have uh, a parking that I wanted to put on a curve here, um, there are some commands within AutoCAD where you can, you know, build this. You could do a measure command or a, a distance command or something like that. But you could also do a, uh, a circle command. Now, to find the circle commands, you go to your home ribbon and then under draw, um, there's this list of all these different ways that you can draw a circle. Um, that's great if you like to pick buttons, but I'm a, a keyboard shortcut person, so uh, we'll use those first. So first off, let's go ahead and do C for circle, and you'll notice on my command line I get a circle command. But there's also within that, there's a, there's a, a couple of different things that you can do. One, let's just start with the, the basic circle command. Now, um, the first thing that it asks for is a center point. So if I pick a center point here, let's pretend that these these uh, parking spaces are uh, 10 by 20, 10 by 20, and uh, I want the the back side, which is the shortest distance, to be um, the 10 feet. So um, on the command line, you see that it's asking for a uh, radius, and uh, you can change it to diameter if you'd like. But for this exercise, I'm going to use uh, the radius and uh, I'm going to type in 10 and enter. Now you'll notice that it's 10 because this, this stall was 10 but now I've got a 10 foot out here so it's easy enough for me to just do a line and I, uh, to do that I do an L enter and then I do a, an INT for intersection or yeah right here and then I do a perpendicular to the curve there and now I have a 9 foot stall. Now all I have to do is do a move command from my center point to my endpoint. Now I'm typing all these in with my left hand and moving the cursor with my right hand. You could easily do a shift right click and pick your um, your O snap uh, from this list also, which it has some pretty uh, neat extra stuff like uh, midpoint between points is pretty cool and parent intersection if you're dealing with some three dimensional objects and things like that. Um, but I'm an, I'm an old school person and I like to uh, type them in. It seems to be uh, faster or just the way I do things. And uh, so now that that's been moved, I can just kind of go up the, the road here and uh, keep doing my, my uh, 10 by 20 stalls. Now the next exercise as far as the circle command, let's say this is a, a landscape island and I wanted to put a bullnose in here. Um, I could easily do a, again, on the command line, C enter, and I could do a tangent tangent or a TTR for tangent tangent radius. Now when I do that, you notice on the command line, TTR, press enter, it asks for three points. One being the tangent, um, or no, I'm going to do it, I'm sorry, a circle, and I'm going to do a three point, so a 3P enter, notice the command line. And then I'm going to do a tangent, so I'm typing in tangent, and uh, just to show you on the shortcut, uh, shift, right click, tangent, and then uh, tangent here, and it put in a circle appropriately. Now, the circle's in there, but if you just simply do a, a TR for trim, or a simple trim command, notice how I picked those, um, you can trim out what you don't want now it's the reason I do that is that I want this line here to stay because it's still being projected through to some information that I want over here so this is the uh, the, the drive coming into the project this is existing uh, travel way or existing road or drive and I want this driveway to come off of here now this is 25 foot from here now I drew everything perpendicular now if you had it on an angle that it might be um, more helpful but um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do a simple uh, circle again and do a TTR and now I can put in say a 20 foot radius and uh, trim this off but I don't have to get rid of my line that's the, my existing because the existing pavement will always be existing edge of pavement so um, I like that for that reason you could do a, f a fillet or a fillet command um, on that but it would trim out the the road going this way and then you would lose your information coming out um, 
pass there. So uh, this to me is a little bit more beneficial because it leaves information that I'm still using for this side. Um, and then you could easily do a circle uh, TTR, enter for tangent tangent radius here, here, and let's say we put in a five foot radius there. We do a trim, trim this, this, this. Now this information is still being used, so I'm leaving it in there. Um, the other thing is, let's say we wanted a 30 foot radius. Now I'm not going to get a tangent here uh, that meets like this one did. So what I usually do is I, I like to go like a circle TTR and I put the five foot in first and then if you do a circle TTR let's say it was a 40 foot um, well we'll do 30 do a 30 foot now I've got a tangent point that's on the circle and not on this line but I still have the 30 foot radius and I have my five foot radius in here so again if I do a trim and I trim here and here I trimmed out that circle and then I do a trim again and I pick this I can pick this this in this so now I have uh, some information that's being uh, utilized around this corner and uh, comes together pretty nicely now again that is usually using the uh, the keyboard sh shortcuts for uh, for circle which is the C uh, C enter um, but underneath the uh, the home tab and your draw uh, your circle has some additional stuff. Remember when I did the three point and I did a tangent tangent, I picked the tangents. Um, you can simply go here and pick tangent tangent radius and uh, you won't have to put in the, uh, the grips uh, for your information. Maybe a little bit faster. Um, I'm just uh, used to doing it with the three point through, through the uh, keystrokes um, that way. Um, subscribe. Rate, my ch uh, rate this video. I appreciate it, and I'll uh, see you next time.